Currently, the RDA, which stands for Recommended Daily Allowance, suggests an average daily protein intake of 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Now, do note, this intake is sufficient for people who live a sedentary lifestyle and represent an intake level necessary to replace losses and avert deficiency. In simple words, to prevent malnutrition. However, this recommended intake is not enough for people who are active and indulge in exercises. Numerous studies indicate protein requirements for active individuals are approximately double that of the RDA, which is at least 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. This range is recommended by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, the American College of Sports Medicine. The International Society of Sports Nutrition also recommends a very similar range which is 1.4 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Let me give you an example. Suppose an individual weighs about 7 kilograms or 154 pounds and his energy intake averages around 2000 calories per day. In that case, his protein requirements depend upon his choice of activity which is intensity, duration and the type and is one of the following. Individuals enga engaging in endurance exercise should consume 1.4 grams per kilogram per day. In this case, the person should consume about 70 kilograms multiplied by 1.4 grams, which is 98 grams of protein per day. Individuals engaging in intermittent activities like football, rugby, etc. should uh, consume 1.7 grams per kilogram per day, which comes to 70 kilo multiplied by 1.7 grams and it comes to 119 grams of protein per day. People engaging in strength or power exercises such as heavy weight training should consume around 2 grams per kilogram per day. In this case, the person should consume 70 into 2, which is 140 grams of protein per day. So the question that demands attention here is this, is there any additional benefit of consuming more than 2 grams per kilogram of body weight of protein per day? The additional benefit could either be more muscle gain or accelerated fat loss. The top guns in this industry like Alan, Menno and Brad performed a systematic review, meta-analysis and meta-regression and they concluded that protein intake at amounts higher than 1.6 grams per kilogram per day does not further contribute to resistant exercise training induced gains in FFM fat-free mass. A 2006 study by Hoffman et al concluded that protein intake above 2 grams per kilogram per day did not produce any significant strength or lean mass gain. So if you are a 70 kilogram individual, you don't need more than 112 grams, which is 70 multiplied by 1.6. More protein, however, will not result in extra muscle gains. Protein intake above two grams per, per day is only advised in special cases such as very high energy intake. So if an individual is an athlete and has a very high caloric requirement of say 4,000 calories, then calculating his protein intake at a modest level of 12, 12 to 15% of total calories will give us 150 grams, which, come, which is approximately 2.14 grams per kilograms per day. However, these cases of very high energy intake are not very common and the lower amounts described above should be sufficient for most recreational athletes. To summarize, RDA guidelines for protein intake are less than the amount required for active individuals and should thus be adjusted according to one's type of activity as I've already explained. If you indulge in low to moderate activity like fast walking, jogging, zumba, yoga, target between 1.2 to 1.5 grams per kilogram per day. If you take part in moderate to high intensity activities such as weight training, CrossFit, HIIT, powerlifting, then consume between 1.5 to 2 grams per kilogram per day. Hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, smash the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when a video like this will come out. Ciao.